Hi guys, my name is Chigurze Manuel Inigwe and um, people call me Jeff because that's the name of my dog and because I love my dog so much, people know me by his name, so it's funny. But anyways, that being by the way, I'm so excited to do this. I'm so excited to talk to you guys about what I'm passionate about, what I like to do and what I think is achievable in this world. I have, I have a high hope to help people come out of lots of huddles at the workplace, lots of maltreatment in the factories and, and more. And the, the way I can do this is, you know, having to be or managing those factories, having to be in a man, managerial position that gives me the breadth to do that. And I think Masters in Global Business is the perfect program for me. And I'm the perfect program. I'm the perfect person for the program because not only have I been accepted by other schools like Flint College, um, what do you call it again? Crandall University and, and Royal Road University. You know, I feel like this program is the best program that is going to serve what I need because I want to create a better, a better, a better place and a better condition at the factories, at the workplace, in the offices. And the way I can do this is to own businesses. And this business I'm going to own, I intend to buy them because I do not think running businesses from the scratch. Um, it's much easier than just buying the business that is already successful and take off to start running it from, you know, you know, feed up from its success and start running it from there and learn a few things about it. And so the skills that I need to do this, I'm going to really acquire when I do this masters in global masters of global business. So I do understand the gust of, Gustav um, School of Business, Gustafsson School of Business, is our <clears throat> has four pillars where it talks about, you know, four pillars of its values and culture of what it wants to achieve. And like the international, integrative, innovative, and social responsibility. So when it comes to being international, Trust me, I've traveled to Malaysia to study. I traveled to Thailand to study as well. And I received a, a, um, a bachelor's in arts, um, major in management with an emphasis in international business. So I do understand diversity, especially coming from a country like Nigeria, where we have like more than 200 languages and tribes, food, like, you know, people that are just together and just manage each other and tolerate, to, as in tolerate each other's um, misperformances or loopholes and, you know, is able to adapt to different situations and things like that. So I think that's what makes us Nigerians very resilient to believe that we can actually achieve anything we want to achieve. And for me, what I want to achieve is that I want to buy 1000 businesses in 20 years. You know, that's my target. I mean, if I make it up to 800, it's still not bad, but I'm not going to be so fulfilled until I get to 1000. It's not about the money. It's about how many people I can give job and how many people that I can make your life better at the workplace and how many people I could really make increase their output and really make the society a better place. So when it comes to being innovative, I mean, I'm really creative. I I have a model that I created when I was um, when I, I was running a business in Nigeria here, Oka. Like I, I founded the business, I ran the business, is a construction business that carries construction building materials like cement, um, rod, like towels, and you know, and more of that. 
And, and what I did was I created a, py a pyramid structure whereby I recruited, I had to recruit two people. And when those two people made sales, they get, they get 10% from the commission, 10% ask commissions for, for what they, they sold, right? So what they have to do, they have to, they also have to recruit two other people. And before they start receiving the 2% from the, the sales made by their recruit, they would have to make sure that they recruit up to two people. And then the two people that they recruited is going to recruit two people, you know, and the two people that they recruited is going to recruit two people. And that's how I did it. And I was able to achieve, at least I made, I, I, I used that pyramid structure to recruit up to 40 people, you know, and for them to qualify, to start recruiting people, they had, they had to make a sale. And when you make a sale, then you start recruiting people. And when you recruit two people, there's no ceiling. You can recruit more people, but two people you have to recruit to qualify to get 2% from what your recruits make on sales. So this is a model that I created. And I think that I, I can leverage more on this model because what it does is give it gives flexibility to the to the workers and you know it gives them it, it it actually removes the ceiling of what they can earn and most people like this flexibility you know to be able to to get to your family to be able to to be with the people that they love and do what they like and not just work 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 and work and you know that the way to make it in life is about leveraging so when you leverage on what you can make while other people work for you as what you, what you can make as passive income is really key to being successful in life. And then when it comes to interactive, like into integrating, to integrate, you know, diversity and make it all work, trust me, I'm, I'm the best that you can find when it comes to that because, you know, I know how to adapt very well to integrate what I know and what I'm learning to, you know, to get to a better place. And then when it comes to being social responsibly, like I'm, I'm a pro sustainable green guy. Like I believe everyone should use solar energy. I mean, I don't, I don't believe people should be imposed or things should be imposed or decisions should be imposed on people. But I believe that people should be actually able to be convinced to look and go green because the global needs to be sustainable to be socially responsible at the workplace is highly prior is a high priority for me so um i don't know if i convince you that i'm the right person for this program but i think that i've had some experiences i founded like three businesses one in thailand two in nigeria and one of the things that i found out is running a business from the scratch is way more harder than running a business that you just bought with zero cash down. Like you acquire the business with zero cash down. You get investors, you know, you get you get a good deal structure and all that. And all this I think my colleagues will learn from me because when you try to go the normal rudimental way and you try to grow up the ladder and you're trying to in, in like open up a business, you know, go open up a shop. I don't think that's the right way to go about it. And I I, I do have another model that I want to introduce. It's, a, it's, a, it's also a pyramid model. In this model, you do not actually have to do anything. You don't have to sell anything. You just come on the system, you know, and when you come on the system as a retiree, you pay, you choose a package and you pay for it. And when you pay for that package, then you recruit two other people to come on the system and pay. And when they pay, you get paid. And then they recruit two other people under them. And then when those people pay, you get paid from what those other people that, you, that, that, that were recruited by your recruitees pay. You know, you get paid all the way. And then and then when we recruit, when new people are recruited, they want to get paid because they paid. So they have to recruit more people. 
and this is how it goes like a pyramid structure and you know you just get paid two for seven thank you very much i'm so happy to have you on here and thank you very much if you consider me to be one of your students have a good day bye